Yeah. Okay. Today we will see this problem. This problem is given in 6a, 2, 3, 1. If cos a equal to cos b equal to minus 1 by 2 and a does not lie in the second quadrant and b does not lie in the third quadrant, find the value of 4 sin b minus 3 tan a whole divided by tan b plus sin a. To solve these type of problems, first we need to write what is the given. Okay, here what is the given? Given is cos a equal to cos b equal to minus 1 by 2 and a and a doesn't lie in the second quadrant that is given. From this we should find the value of a. We have already seen the right coordinate system. In the quadra quadrant system cos is positive in the first quadrant as well as second quadrant. But cos a equal to minus 1 by 2. That means a lies in the second quadrant or third quadrant. But here they mention that a does not lie in the second quadrant. So, a does not lie in second quadrant also. In which quadrant it will lie? It will lie in the third quadrant. It We will write okay, a lies in the third quadrant. Okay, this is the conclusion. Now, what is cos A? Cos A equal to minus 1 by 2. What is cos 0? Cos 0 equal to 1. And what is cos 180? Cos 180 equal to minus 1. And cos 90 equal to 0. And cos 270 equal to 0. Here, cos A equal to minus 1 by 2. So, from here, we are able to conclude that cos 180 plus some theta that equal to minus 1 by 2 that equal to cos A. Okay. And cos A equal to minus 1 by 2 and A lies in the third quadrant. So, what is uh, cos uh, how much theta equal to 1 by 2? Yesterday we have seen right cos 1 cos 60 equal to half right. So, this can be written as cos 180 plus theta equal to 60 that equal to minus 1 by 2 equal to cos A. From this we can write that A equal to how much? 240, 240 degrees. Okay. This is the logic. As theta lies in the third quadrant, we have to check for how much theta cos is half. As it is lies in the third quadrant, this is 180 plus something equal to minus 1 by 2. What is that something? That is 60. Okay, so A equal to 240. Now, take cos B. I will write over here. And cos B, given, we will write given cos B equal to minus 1 by 2. And B does not lie in the third quadrant. B does not lie in the third quadrant. We already seen right cos is 
negative in second quadrant and third quadrant but here they give a, given is b doesn't lie in the third quadrant that means b lies in the second quadrant so cos 90 plus theta equal to cos b equal to minus 1 by 2 what is cos uh, 90 plus theta 90 plus theta equal to minus sin theta minus sin theta equal to cos b equal to minus 1 by 2 see by looking at this for what value of theta this cos is minus half for what value of theta for this let us say if it is cos 90 plus 30 right what is cos 90 plus 30 cos 120 cos 120 equal to how much minus 1 by 2 because cos 120 can be written as sin 90 plus 30 cos 120 can be written as cos 90 90 plus 30 cos 90 equal to in which quadrant it will be it will be in the second quadrant so this can be written as i will write over here cos 90 plus 30 cos 90 plus 30 equal to how much cos 90 plus 30 equal to minus sin 30 minus sin 30 equal to minus 1 by 2 so it is minus 1 by 2 so from this we can conclude that b equal to 120 degrees okay and here we conclude that a equal to 240 okay here just logic from the given we should find where a and b lies okay suppose if it lies in the second quadrant and if it is lies in the uh, a lies in the third quadrant and b lies in the second quadrant according to that we need to find the value of a and b okay that is the thing and from here we conclude that a is 240 and b equal to 120 just to note it down i will rub it rub it and i will solve further problem okay this is the conclusion and a and b values are a equal to 240 and b equal to 120. Okay. Now, what is sin b? Sin b equal to sin 120. What is the value of sin 120? Sin 120 equal to how can we we can return it? This as 120 can be written as 90 plus 30. Right. Sin 90 plus 30 equal to cos 30. What is cos 30? Cos 30 equal to root 3 by cos 30 equal to sin 60 equal to root 3 by 2. Now take tan A. Tan A. What is the value of A? A equal to 240. Now tan 240. Tan 240 in which quadrant it will be? It is in third quadrant. So, tan 240 can be written as tan 180 plus 60. Tan 60 equal to root 3. Okay. Now, compute tan B. What is the value of tan B? Tan B equal to tan 120. Tan 120 equal to tan 180 minus 60 this can be minus tan 60 what is the value of tan 60 root 3 this minus sign is for this one now compute sin a 
what is the value of sin a sin a equal to sin 240 240 can be written as sin 180 plus 60 sin 180 plus 60 is in third quadrant in third quadrant sin value is negative so this is minus sin 60 that equal to minus root 3 by 2 okay now we need to substitute all these values in this equation and we need to find the value okay i will write over here okay 4 into 4 into what is the value of sin b sin b equal to sin 120 120 equal to root 3 by 2 minus 3 into what is the value of tan a tan a equal to root 3 by tan b what is the value of tan b that is minus root 3 and what is the value of sin a sin a equal to minus root 3 by 2 this can be how we can write 4 root 3 minus 6 root 3 by 2 whole divided by minus 2 root 3 minus root 3 by 2 right this one okay so this minus 2 and minus 2 get cancelled this equal to 4 root 3 minus 6 root 3 how much it is minus 2 root 3 whole divided by this is minus 2 root 3 minus root 3 so minus 3 root 3 this is this minus this minus get cancelled root 3 root 3 get cancelled how what is the value 2 by 3 this is the value so again i will tell how we need to compute from the given thing we should find the value of a and b okay once we got value of a and b we are able to find sin b value tan a value tan b and sin a once we find all these values just to substitute whatever the values we got here in the equation simplify this equation we will get the result that is the procedure right any questions in this okay Yeah, if you have any questions or doubts, just uh, uh, write it in the comment section. And if you like the video, like the video. If you want to like the video, if you like this problem, just like the video. <laughs>